Uh, we make a range of textile accessories, both for fashion and for the home. Started the company kind of by accident in 2003. Uh, at that time it was just myself and one sewing machine. I now employ six people and then I always have another four people working around Cornwall for me. So it's, it's grown considerably over the sort of 12 years that I've been going. And Gendal is an integrated agency. We do digital and branding. We um, specialise in um, destination branding really. It started off in Shed and it was just me um, freelancing. The company is now, uh, there's nine of us and an awful lot of uh, um, freelancers and consultants. We provide uh, animation, visual effects and CGI um, for a range of different things including film, TV, uh, online and games. So we have done Assassin's Creed, uh, we did the cutscene animations. We've worked quite a lot with Ogilvy in Hong Kong, uh, doing some bits and pieces for some of their shopping centres. And we have also recently worked on, uh, just playing behind me, is an animation, um, sort of a kind of teaser trailer um, for hopefully a, a children's TV series. All sorts of things where sort of technology and science cross over into weird art things, that bit in between from the tiny little clockwork miniature things to giant 20 ton contraptions, stomping thing, blowing things up, whatever, everything that's sort of fun. <laughs> Recently for Heston Blumenthal, Science Museum, uh, US firms, absolute vodka. By chance, really, was the secondary the fact that the automata world, which is sort of what my stuff is, is there's a huge <clears throat> network, the global center of automata and mechanical sculpture happens to be in Falmouth. <laughs> so that was the main reason, or secondary to it just being a lovely place to live. The Leach Pottery was set up in 1920 by Bernard Leach and he employed um, production potters to make a standard ware to sell for anyone to be able to use beautiful objects in the everyday. So we continue that tradition and we have a studio pottery and uh, we also have a museum and an education department. So at Joint Effort Studios we produce videos and films. Um, we work mainly with sort of corporate and commercial clients so we deliver sort of content for those guys. Um, if there's a story to sort of tell, we'll be the guys that do it. During my time at university, there was a massive sort of impression from my cohort that you needed to move elsewhere to be successful. You needed to leave Cornwall. Um, what we wanted to do was really challenge that perspective and show that it is possible to be successful down here. Why Cornwall? Well, why not? It's been widely recognised that Cornwall now is the place to come to be creative. So we're seeing an awful lot of talent coming out of the university down here, which we're harnessing. Why Cornwall? Well, if you'd like to be surrounded by creative, like-minded people in the sea, I don't think you'll find anywhere better. Work-wise, the benefit is that it inspires all my designs. Creatively, I find it really beneficial to be cut off from outside influences. So that's important to me that I'm not being influenced by everything I see around. It's very easy and Cornwall to have a much more, in, I think, individual take on things. We are a company that makes great art. We make truly internationally great theatre. But I think also we're a company that speaks to everyone and speaks without pretension to a hugely wide range of people. And I think that's a very Cornish thing. And I think that that really finds its echo within Nehi. And that's why Nehi finds nourishment within Cornwall. And that's why I think Nehi will always be defined by Cornwall, not confined by Cornwall. We're going to spread all over the world, but we'll always know where home is. Yeah, I, I fundamentally believe there's a rubber band attached to anybody who was born down here. And certainly that was my case. So I went to London for five years. I, I studied at Bournemouth, which clearly isn't in Cornwall. Um, but I always knew I was going to come back. Over the last 10 years, it's been really nice to see the change in Cornwall from a situation where lots of your friends will have to move away and go and get jobs in other places to now in terms of the people that are around and the jobs and the opportunities. I've got a piece of fibre optic that comes in there under my desk, four pieces of fibre optic actually, straight to my desk. A uh, friend that works at a company in Soho, they've got a load of uh, ADSL lines hacked together. I've got better connectivity here. It can be difficult to be um, as remote as we are in Cornwall but it also brings really um, interesting uh, positives such as a really rich creative community and we're delighted to work with really talented local arts people and crafts people. Um, we couldn't base our business anywhere else. Um, Cornwall to me is all about potential um, and so that's always been there hands down. I love of 
being able to be in Cornwall, but work anywhere in the world from here? Um, I'm Cornish. <laughs> <laughs> it was either <laughs> it's either here or New York. <laughs> no, I'd say the only drawback is how long it is to get anywhere else, but that's the entire positive reason why we're here, so I can't say that that's a drawback. No, no drawbacks. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs>